Hello students, welcome back to our class. In the previous classes, we discussed about similarity criterion, AA similarity as well as SS similarity. So, here we um, have come to one conclusion that two triangles are said to be similar. If two triangles are similar, then their corresponding angles are equal or their corresponding sides are proportional. If corresponding angles are equal, automatically corresponding sides are proportional. If corresponding sides are proportional, automatically corresponding angles are equal. So, from this you can understand one thing that already we discussed in the very first class that two figures are said to be similar, two figures are said to be similar or two triangles are said to be similar according to the nature of the figures, they are same in shape, may or may not be in size, their size may be equal, may not be equal, that does not matter, that is not the criteria to say that they are similar. If they are same in shape, then we can say that those two figures are similar. If they are same in shape as well as size also, then they are congruent. If they are not same in shape, if they are not same in size, then they are only similar. Of course, if they are same in shape as well as in size also, we can say that they are similar also. You understand? So, by this we can understand one thing that if two figures are similar, two figures are similar, they must be same in shape, may not, may or may not be in size. So, that every congruent triangles, every pair of congruent triangles are similar, but every pair of similar triangles may not be congruent. We should not use the word not in our mathematical language, because sometimes it may be true, sometimes it may be false. So, that is why every pair of congruent triangles are similar, but every pair of similar triangles may not be congruent. Hope you understand. Coming to the similar uh, third similar criterion, what is third similar criterion? That is SAS similarity, SAS similarity. So, what is this SAS similarity? According to the similarity criterion, we can understand one thing that if two sides of one triangle if two sides of one triangle are proportional, if two sides of one triangle are proportional to the corresponding sides, to the corresponding sides of the another triangle, If two sides of one triangle are proportional to the corresponding sides of the another triangle and their included angles and their included angles are also equal, then they are similar, then they are similar. What do you mean by that similar here? then they are similar means their corresponding angles are equal or their corresponding sides are proportional. You can prove anything, but the condition is if two sides of one triangle are proportional to the corresponding sides of the another triangle, then only they are said to be similar. So, for that as usual I am taking two triangles. So, this is first triangle ABC and this is second triangle PQR. So, in these two triangles what is the information given? First side is proportional to the first side, second side is proportional to second side and their included angles are equal. Included angles means what? Angle A is equal to angle P. So, I would write here angle A is equal to angle P that was the information given. So, I will write what is given information here given that in triangle ABC and triangle P Q R. First thing is A B by first side by first side that is A B by P Q is equal to A C by P R and what is the second information? Their included angles are equal and angle A is equal to angle P. So, what are you going to prove here? R T P is they are similar means triangle A B C similar to triangle P Q R. So, similar means what? You can either prove their corresponding angles are equal or their corresponding sides are proportional. I said 
that anything is okay. For that, what is the construction again? The same construction we go about. That same construction is taking a point B dash and one more point C dash such that A B is equal to P B dash and A C is equal to P C dash. Okay, right. This is what the construction given. Sorry, construction. That's what we are taking. You will have to write the construction steps here. Now, coming to prove. How are you going to prove this? So, in order to prove the statement, once you observe, AB is equal to PB dash according to construction. Angle A equal to angle B. That was already given. AC is equal to PC dash according to construction. Can we say triangle ABC and PB dash C dash are congruent by SAS congruence? Yes, they are. So, observe that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PB dash C dash by SAS congruence. Since two triangles are congruent, then by CPCT, what can you say about this? By CPCT, angle B is equal to angle B dash means P B dash C dash, and angle C is equal to angle P C dash B dash. And one more thing that B C is equal to B dash C dash also. Okay, I would write that by CPCT, angle B is equal to angle P B dash C dash, and uh, Angle C is equal to angle P C dash B dash, as well as B C is equal to B dash C dash. Okay, fine. Then how do you prove that this part and this part, like uh, this entire triangle and this entire triangle angles are equal or sides are proportional? For that, one more information given here. What is that one more information? A B by P Q is equal to A C by P R that was given right, but A B is equal to P B dash according to our construction. So I am going to substitute P B dash in the place of A B by P Q is equal to A C. A C is nothing but P C dash. So that P C dash divided by P R. Okay, P B dash by P Q is equal to P C dash by P R. Again, P B dash by P Q is equal to P C dash by P R. It means according to the converse of basic proportionality theorem. So, by converse of basic proportionality theorem, we would say one thing. What is that? B dash C dash is parallel to Q R. B dash C dash is parallel to Q R. If B dash C dash is parallel to Q R, can we say that angle P B dash C dash is equal to angle R? Because they are pair of corresponding angles, so that implies angle P B dash C dash is equal to angle R. And uh, what is the second pair? The second pair is angle P C dash B dash is equal to, sorry, angle P B dash C dash is equal to angle Q. So this is angle Q. And uh, another one is what? Another one is Angle P C dash B dash. Angle P C dash B dash is equal to angle R. But already we know that angle B dash P B dash C dash is equal to angle B. Can I write angle B here? And angle P C dash B dash is equal to angle C is equal to angle C. See here we have taken angle A is equal to angle P. We proved here angle B is equal to angle Q. Angle C is equal to angle R. Means their corresponding angles are equal. Therefore, those two triangles are said to be similar triangles. Understand about this SAS similarity criterion? So we proved these three criterions of similar triangles by using basic proportionality theorem as well as converse. So that is why basic proportionality theorem is a very fundamental theorem in our plane geometry related to triangle. So everybody has to remember. What is basic proportionality theorem as well as Thales or Thales theorem as well as its converse? So this is what the criterion of similarity of two triangles. So I repeat, two triangles are said to be similar if their corresponding angles are equal or their corresponding sides are proportional. If corresponding angles are equal, automatically corresponding sides will be proportional. 
if corresponding sides are proportional then automatically corresponding angles are equal so if one condition is given then automatically second condition will be holds good right now let me uh, just give you a brief idea on these triangles similarity of triangles suppose if i say triangle a b c similar to triangle p q r see here in the case of triangles the order of the vertices is a case sensitive you cannot change order of the vertices see this is triangle abc you can call triangle abc as triangle bac or triangle cab or triangle acb also but in the case of triangle abc similar to triangle pqr you will have to say that triangle abc similar to triangle pqr only you cannot say that the triangle abc similar to triangle qpr because when you say triangle abc similar to triangle qpr it means angle a is equal to angle p no angle a equal to angle p only that is why you cannot change the order of the vertices suppose if you want to change the order of the vertices in the similar way you will have to change the order of the vertices of the other triangle also for example triangle abc similar to triangle pqr i just want to change the order of the vertices then i would say triangle b a c similar to triangle in the place of b you have q so that you will have to write q in the place of a you have p so that you should write p obviously the third one is r this is what the way that you will have to arrange the order of the vertices okay this is very important please do not change the order of the vertices if you want to change the order of the vertices then accordingly change the order of the vertices of the other triangle also otherwise you cannot tell them they are similar triangles you understand triangle abc similar to triangle pqr then we can say that triangle bac similar to triangle qpr but not triangle bac similar to triangle pqr for example in triangle suppose triangle abc given similar to triangle pqr and what is the information given here measurement of angle a is equal to 30 degrees and measurement of angle b is equal to 70 degrees then what is measurement of angle r measurement of angle r equal to how much see here measurement of angle a equal to 30 degrees so a is equal to 30 if a is equal to 30 which angle of this triangle is 30 yes p is equal to 30 because they are already similar okay if two triangles are similar then their corresponding angles must be equal so that angle a equal to angle p and second one is what angle b is equal to angle q b is given 70 so q is also 70 and angle r is equal to angle c right so if you find what is angle c that is only the value of angle r how do you find the value of angle c by when a is equal to 30 b is equal to 70 yes by using angle sum property of a triangle see angle a plus angle b is equal to 30 plus 70 is equal to 100 then what is angle c 180 minus 100 180 minus 100 is equal to 80 degrees is angle c that angle c is equal to angle r therefore measurement of angle r is equal to measurement of angle c is equal to 80 degrees okay so this is all about similarity criterion and the definition of similarity of two triangles and what are the conditions of similarity of two triangles and how many criterions are there we discussed in this module hope you understand thank you